Let's talk about awareness. There's no real particular order to the skills. Unfortunately, text and talking tend to be linear. It doesn't matter. They're, these are just 10 skills. They're a group of skills. You can put them in a circle or a flow chart. Doesn't matter. Children are not self-aware up until about the age of seven and eight. That's when the brain's developed enough to create reason. If you have a child, you know how self-absorbed they are. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. And as we talked about in a previous video, any child can be brought up in any culture, any language or religion, so they don't have an innate understanding of what's expected of them. So they are only seeing themselves as the center of their universe and trying to figure out what they're doing and how should they do it. About the age of eight or so, we begin to be self-reflective and self-aware. Some people never grow this skill very well. Other people do grow it well. Sometimes we call it empathy or we call it compassion or mindfulness. It's another term, but it's just aware. And that awareness can be directed internally to yourself or externally to other people. So if you're already a dad, you know that you have to be aware of your children and you know that you're trying to, in some ways, teach them to become aware. For instance, pick up your toys, right? It's aware, right? Don't leave that toy on the stairs. That's aware. The fact is around pregnancy and childbirth, our modern society just doesn't require you to really be aware. And that comes from the past, okay? The present has to do with the past. And what we're creating now in the present with having you become skilled is we're creating a different future. And that's important. So as you become skilled, you will teach your children, both your girls and your boys, about how to become more aware during the five phases of pregnancy. Why does modern society not require a skill? Well, that has to do with the past, that pregnancy is perceived of as women's business and birth has been perceived of as women's business or medical business, in which fathers are basically, you have become a father, go to the nursery and look at your baby, isn't that great? Smoke a cigar, hang out in the pub while she's giving birth. Now you're expected to be there, but being there has also changed. So when I gave birth in 1970, we all went to Lamaze classes or Bradley classes where fathers were taught to have a stopwatch and time contractions and do ragdoll stuff with us and do our pant blow. <laughs> At least they were able to participate and that was called a birth coach. But by the 1980s, when I gave birth again, birth advocates were saying, we don't want men to be seen on the sideline like a coach and go push, push, push. So we want men to support women's choices. So support and coaching are very different. A support person really is just there sort of being enthusiastic, yay, yay, yay. But a coach is actually a person who can help. And birthing better dads wanted to help. So we don't care what term you use, you just want to know how to participate. You are not a bystander in this, which has to do with being aware. It's really, really important that you become aware of how you fit into this. Now, we'll talk about that in other phases, but we just want your heads up that awareness has a lot of different dimensions to it.